Hi everyone, it's Eva Migajono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Ranger. In the last part, we were instructed to head over to Summerland. Summer Towns? I don't know. Right. I don't even know why I've managed to forget the name of that. Uh, anyway, so this episode, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So what you have to do is head down to Fall City Harbor, which is actually where we started the game. So you shouldn't really have a problem getting there at all. All you gotta do is keep heading south and... Oh, okay. Someone, anyone help? Save my Lapras! Okay. Oh no, your Lapras is being attacked by two Krabby. Are you seriously that weak? I accidentally stepped on a crab on a crabby's foot. It got furious. It and its buddy got so mad they went after my Lapras. Help me, Ranger. My Lapras needs your help. Oh, uh, fine. Okay, I guess. How is that even a cool answer? All I got given was yes or no. Okay, so anyway. We have to catch these two cat Cabby. Crabby. Um... Yeah, the move that we'll use is Bubble, so that can get annoying because that can break your style like anywhere on the field, so... Right, oh, uh, let's see here. Alright, so we got one, so the second one shouldn't be too hard to capture now. Right, there we go. Just saying, when you get into paired battles or triple battles, it's probably easier to catch them one by one, because if you try and get them all, all at once, then you'll be in strife. <laughs> Alright. Are you okay, Lapras? I'm sorry I got us into, into that scary situation. Yes, it sounds so scared. Thanks, Ranger. You're my Lapras' savior. Oh, I hate to seem ungrateful, but I'd like to return those crabby to the sea. Yeah, right. Okay, let's just, you know, capture these crabby for you, then get rid of them. See how it is. Making me do your early work, dirty work. We owe you huge. If there's anything my Lapras and I can do for you, don't be shy to ask. So, you know, apparently walking up to him and saying absolutely nothing will make him read our mind, and then he'll know that we need to go to Summerland. Right, so... We connected on an emotional level. Okay. Right. Come on, get out of the way, would you... I just want to get in your Lapras so I can leave this dump. Would you move? Thank you. So all we got to do really is just walk up to it, and then you'll jump on. <laughs> Nothing really special about that. And for once, they're actually surfing on a real Lapras, not a sprited Lapras. So, here we are! Um... Oh, come on! Sick of being interrupted, seriously. When you reach Summerland, go meet with Cameron, the ranger leader there. Right, whatever. I'm pretty sure we were already told this. We don't need to be told again. Man. They all thought we were rookies. Why are they making a rookie go after, you know, this region's criminal gang? Wait, isn't that the, like the goal of every single Pokemon game or the main plot? Whatever. Right, so here is the ranger station. And there are two people here. This guy, oh, I recognize that uniform. Um, you're a Ringtown Ranger? Your name Jono? What brings you to Summerland? Gorok Squat? What's that? Is that a new- is that like a new dance move? Wow, are you serious? Gorok Squat? Wow, come on! That was the worst joke in history. I could've come up with something like that. Well, I probably could've come up with something, something better than that. Like... Gorok... I don't know. Screw it, I can't think of it on the spot. Right, whatever. These guys are pretty lazy because apparently there's ne never anything wrong in Summerland, no! This place is perfect, you know? Anyway, that guy's Percy, that's his Politoed. Um, anyway. They hold the character challenge here, yada yada yada. Okay, um... So, to make the Ringtown leader... Not the Ringtown... Summer, Summerland leader come in, you basically just have to, have to talk to that guy. And here he is here. His name is Cameron, by the way. Huh? And who might you be? Jono, are you maybe the ranger that Spencer wrote about? Well, it's nice to meet you. It's good... It's good and all that you came here for your investigation, but that, uh, Team Gorok, was it? Whatever they're called, we haven't seen neither hide nor hair of them. So I've been taking part in the local character challenges for enjoy, uh, no, for keeping my technique sharp. Yup. And, you know, just keeping cool and relaxed a little. Oh no, no, you've got it wrong. Of course, it's not always like this here. Oh, person been looking for me, I never saw him. It's odd though, maybe he did, we just passed each other. Yep, you totally passed each other! t t, -t trouble they catch my Politoed using a weird style. It wasn't like any style I've seen before. I shouted out Politoed, but he totally ignored me. 
They disappeared into the olive jungle. This is awful. Maybe what Spencer had to say was right after all. Jono, will you help us? Can you go into Ola Jungle and recapture Percy's Politoed? You're probably definitely more suited for the job than our Rangers. After all, Spencer's trained you or whatever. Wow, you guys really suck, don't you? I don't know, how about we do this? I'll get in touch with Spencer and get him to certify this is an official mission. Yay, this will be mission four and it's absolutely pathetic. So anyway. So I accidentally clicked on something on Twitter just then. I don't know. I hope I need to send anyone some sort of weird tweet or retweet someone or some crap. Uh, anyway, uh, you got re Why do we need to be informed of this? Right, so anyway, this is where he's going to give us the official mission. So that our mission is now official. Ray. Okay. So, Ollie Jungle is directly north of Summerland. Um, yay, a save machine. Let's just quickly save our progress here because you never know what's going to happen in Olive Jungle. I mean, you know, some random crap might happen. There might be some weird people in here who roll us for our money and our wallets and our Pokemon and everything we love and care about. And then I'll dump our lifeless body into Fall City Harbor. Oh, which is not really actually going to happen. So, right. Uh, there's a couple of Trico around here. Let's just grab one. Um, because we may need it later. So, anyway, in, even if we don't need it later, it's just going to, wow, okay. It's going to be good, a bit, a little bit of experience for our capture style, so. Hooray, we got Trico in. This film is cut, like I said. So, anyway. Uh, there are some weird things in Olive Jungle. Right here is a vine. And we're getting stopped again. This time for a good reason, though. Pokemon to go go. This is the Go Rock quads, by the way. Even if you're in a hurry, stop in your tracks. Uh, this is Garrett. He's a bass player. And they'll each do their own little solo after they, you know, say their tagline. Open your ears for our melodic attacks. Uh, Tiff's a violin player, as you can plainly see there. The reason why the rage pounds the ground, this is Clyde as a bongo player. Or whatever the hell that's called. Let the melody of ambition rise to the skies. And this is Billy, he's the guitar player, who apparently likes doing insane solos. If you don't know us, we'll cure your ignorance! Billy, Garrett, Clyde, Tiffany, the Gorok Squad's hot prospect band of key shaker and taker celebrities. A name once heard and never forgotten, the Gorok Quads. And then, a little bit of a jingle. Just to make us jealous. Where did the where the confetti even come from? Where we beat our tune doesn't matter. It's about feeling. You're the new recruit to the Ranger Union. Hey, oh Ranger, please hear us out. We've recently developed an interest in legendary Pokemon, but even for the most skilled of Rangers, legendary Pokemon are difficult to capture. If you have the cash, there's not much that you, that you can't do in this world. But legendary Pokemon, that's another story. Can't do a thing about them for any amount of cash. But you know, <laughs> pretty soon the ultimate style that makes the impossible happen is going to be ready! Ha! That's all you get to hear out of our top secret performance! Bye bye! And they just walk off, you know, we don't even do anything about what they said, we just practically stand there. Here's a little more of an encore. The Gorok Squad is going to put an end to the history of Rangers soon. When we capture the legendary Pokemon, we can do whatever we like, feel like doing. We'll summon storms, drop thunderbolts, whip up massive fires. I'll miss the end of that. And what will the Ranger Union do then? Why, nothing but standing around crying boo hoo hoo. The citizens will lose faith in the Union, and that'll be that for you, Rangers. Ha ha ha! Oh dear. 